this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to place your subject on a different background. Um, so I'm going to um, start with this picture here of Vivian dressed up as Sophia the first, um, and I'm going to show you how to place her onto a different background. Um, and then I will kind of like speed edit the rest of it, um, showing you how I place in other objects, including um, I'm going to put a castle in the background and other things like that. But um, this should give you the basic idea of how to cut out your subject and place on a different background. So um, what I'm going to do is zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to take the selection tool, which is um, your fourth one down. You want to make sure the quick selection is selected, not the magic wand. The magic wand tool works really well for um, like a plain white background or a transparent background like this. But for something you're trying to cut out of a pretty busy background, you want to use the selection tool. Um, you want to make sure it's on the first selection or the, the addition selection here. Either one works. And I'm just going to click and drag it out to select um, most of her. And I'm going to get a little hand, so I'm going to have to zoom in. can here. Hair is so difficult. And then I'm going to use the minus tool, the minus selection to unselect anything I don't want. I'm going to kind of refine that here in just a second when we get the bulk of it. And the smaller the brush or selection brush you're using, and the closer you zoom in, the easier it is to select this stuff. So, but we'll leave that. I can just erase that little bit out. So I'm going to kind of check here anything that I might have missed. Take out. This part. Okay, that's another part I may have to just um, have to erase later. No, oh, that's close enough. All right, um, let's see if there's anything else. A little extra here around her hand. Okay, so from here, um, I'm going to go ahead and select the selected mask. It's going to allow me to um, pick up her hair more. Let's do it on white. Let's try that. Um, So, smart radius, we're going to check that, um, make sure the radius is at about the middle there. Um, I'm going to do the feather, and I'm going to shift the edge in just slightly. Um, and then from here, I want to um, refine the edge, so if you over over these. Right. And you kind of click over her hair. It's going to pick up those missing pieces. So I'm hoping it does 
doesn't get too much of the background, but we will see. I'm just trying to get all those little stray pieces that are missing. Make sure the crown is all selected. This can be tedious, especially for our hair and when it's windy. What I'm doing now is I'm kind of trying to cut out a little bit of that area that I don't want to be brought over. up a little bit too much so let me make my brush a little bigger get rid of some of that and I might have to just do some a little bit of erasing when I get the picture over. So, I'll do a little bit more here. Okay. So now when I click the move tool at the top, I'm gonna put her onto the image. And you can see she's a pretty good cutout there. Um, I'm gonna go in touch up some of these areas that I don't want. Um, I also might want to adjust the brightness, contrast a little bit to blend into the background a little bit more. Um, but from here, you're gonna see me just kind of speed up the process and walk you through the rest of the steps and then you'll see.
connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.